Ethereum has its next major upgrade coming this March. Well, this upgrade, which is being called the Shanghai upgrade, is not as big as the merge was. It is still a major upgrade with some major changes happening. And as we'll get into, the debate about what should or shouldn't be included in this upgrade got a little bit spicy between the developers. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Ethereum's upcoming Shanghai upgrade. The center point of this upgrade and the most important thing that you should take away is that beacon chain withdrawals will be enabled. Ever since the creation of the beacon chain, which was created in order to set up Ethereum's move to switch to proof of stake, deposits onto the beacon chain have been frozen. This means that if you want to stake some Ethereum that's on mainnet, you can move it one direction to the beacon chain, but you can't move it back. Right now, there is over 16 million ETH on the beacon chain that is currently stuck there. With the Shanghai upgrade, all of this ETH will finally be able to be withdrawn. This was always part of the plan to happen soon after the merge, which is why developers are pushing so hard to get this upgrade out by March. The actual EIP or Ethereum Improvement Proposal is EIP 4895. Thinking about the implications of this upgrade is actually really interesting. What's going to happen when $1.6 billion worth of Ethereum is all of a sudden dumped on the market? There have been a lot of people speculating that this will cause a crash in the price of Ethereum because all of a sudden, all this Ethereum will now have the option of being sold. And honestly, the argument kind of makes sense. But the thing is, at the same time, this upgrade will also show that Ethereum is improving as a protocol and will be a positive step forward in the development of Ethereum, which you would think would have a positive effect on the price. And one other important thing to consider is that it's not like this upgrade is happening as a surprise. People know about this upgrade now, so if they truly believed that it would crash the price of Ethereum once all of this beacon chain ETH became available, they would be selling Ethereum now. AKA, the extra supply of Ethereum could already be baked into the current price of Ethereum. But the price of Ethereum is not the only thing that will be affected by withdrawals. There are currently two major staking protocols, Lido, which I've talked about in a previous video, and Rocket Pool. What these protocols basically do is allow you to stake Ethereum without actually staking it. What you do is you deposit it into one of their protocols and instead you get back a token that represents Ethereum that is now being staked on their network. They're actually doing the staking for you. The thing is right now, Ethereum can only flow in one direction because they can't pull it out of the beacon chain. This has caused the price of these protocols, Ethereum IOU tokens, to often trade below the price of Ethereum. This price difference has actually caused problems in the past when people got over leveraged on the price of staked ETH. The ability to withdraw staked ETH will likely be a huge boost to these two protocols because all of a sudden they carry a lot less risk. Staking Ether on your own is hard. So a lot of people will likely deposit into these protocols once they are de-risked so that they can earn the interest that you get from staking ETH. There are three other core EIPs that will be included in this Shanghai upgrade. These are EIP 3860, 3651, and 3855. EIP 3651 directly benefits the people on Ethereum right now who are building blocks, specifically by making it cheaper to do. Block builders are the ones that propose blocks that are later validated. And this EIP is an important step in builder proposer separation. The main organizations will benefit, like I said, are the block builders like Flashbots. EIP 3855 introduces a new instruction called push zero. The goal of this is to help reduce smart contract size. The other major thing that is currently scheduled to be included in the Shanghai upgrade, but might not depending on progress made, is the implementation of EOF. EOF is a set of five EIPs that are set to upgrade the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. This is significant because the EVM has not been upgraded since Ethereum's launch in 2015. These EOF changes will make the EVM more easily upgradable, make it better be able to parse between smart contract code and data, introduce gas savings for application developers, and help simplify the debugging process for smart contracts. The thing is, this is a really major upgrade and there was a lot of conversation happening about whether or not it should be included, especially because enabling withdrawals is a priority. So the final solution was to say that if EOF is not on track to be released on time with the Shanghai upgrade, it will be kicked to a future upgrade so that we can launch Shanghai and get those withdrawals enabled. Almost as important as what is being included in this upgrade 
is what's not being included. Specifically, I'm talking about EIP 4844. If you watch this channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of EIP 4844, which I covered in detail in another video. I'll make sure to link that in the description. EIP 4844 would immediately help Ethereum scaling by making transactions cheaper. The decision made was to do the Shanghai upgrade now to enable withdrawals and then have the next upgrade be centered around this EIP. The thing is, there wasn't complete consensus on this in the developer calls, with some developers saying that scaling is more important to happen now than withdrawals, and that EIP 4844 is definitely more important to happen now than EOF. One other thing that was not included was a smaller EIP, EIP 1153, which had the goal of making some types of transactions cheaper for users. This EIP was deemed not important enough to be included in the Shanghai upgrade. But because this EIP is basically ready to ship, there was some controversy over whether or not that was a valid justification. Over the next few months, it'll be interesting to see whether or not these developers can actually stick to their deadline of doing the Shanghai upgrade in March. Because any delays to that deadline could also mean delays for EIP 4844. And of course, it'll be extremely interesting to see what happens when 60 million Ether all of a sudden become available to withdraw. If you wanna stay updated, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.